दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन अक्टूबर नवम्बर सेशन पेपर वन थ्री एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी एट इट आस्क दैट इन इज अरेजमेंट ऑफ रेसिस्टर्स द एमीटर हैज अ रेसिस्टेंस ऑफ टू ओम सो वट आई हैव डॉन इज आई हैव रिटर्न टू ओम फॉर ऑल द एमीटर्स इन दिस फिगर सो वी हैव टू फाइंड विच ऑफ दिज अरेजमेंट्स गिव द लार्जेस्ट रीडिंग ऑन द एमीटर इट मीन्स दैट द एमीटर शुड हैव द हाइएस्ट अमाउंट ऑफ करेंट फ्लोइंग and it is given that the potential difference between p and q is same in the first figure the total resistance in the circuit is 1 plus 2 plus 2 it is 5 ohm so the current will be equal to potential difference between p and q divided by the current 5 in the second figure we have a parallel arrangement of 1 ohm and 2 ohm whose total will be 0.67 ohm when it is added to this 2 ohm the total resistance will be equal to 2.67 ohm and the current will be vpq by 2.67 case number c and d are different because because uh, the emitter is placed somewhere in between the parallel arrangement here the <coughs> the resistance along this path is 1 ohm and 2 ohm which is 3 ohm and since uh, and since this 2 ohm does not count the current through it should be equal to the potential difference across uh, it uh, vpq divided by the resistance here which is 3 ohm so that's why our current should be equal to vpq by 3 and here <coughs> this uh, emitter directly connects to p and q so that's why the Uh, resistance along this the path of the current is equal to 2 ohm only so it doesn't care about uh, about this uh, 2 ohm and also about this 1 ohm so that's why our current will be simply equal to i equal to vpq divided this 2 so if we go through all these values of current the smallest denominator is in case number d <coughs> so that's why the current should be uh, the highest or the <coughs> maximum in case number d so case number d is should be the correct answer